seeing the the surprise on kids' faces when I tell them, you know, the things that are made out of corn, they just it's it's fun to see their um, astonishment that a tire is um, made through the use of a corn product as well. So just lots of fun stuff like that. Hi, I'm Lindsay Croak. I'm the communications director at Illinois Corn. And today we are joined by Sherry Spencer, who is an Ag in the Classroom teacher for Kankakee County Farm Bureau, and Cole Roche. Thank you guys for joining me today. You're welcome. Hey, Cole, tell me something really cool you've learned this year from Sherry coming into your classroom. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I have learned something that I think is fun from the Ag in the Classroom teacher is that there is four types of corn. I thought there was only one, which was edible corn that we eat for corn on the cob and popcorn. I don't know if they're the same thing. Yep. <clears throat> so that's basically the most interesting or and fun thing that I learned. That is great. Do you know how many people don't know that fact? And now you already know it and you're not you're not very old. Sherry, what role do you feel like agriculture education plays in shaping this generation and the way that they think about food and farming? So I think it's really important that people know where their food comes from. I'm the daughter of a farmer. Um, we have a family farm and we grow corn and soybeans. And we just have no idea really how much of our food comes from the local farmer, whether it's, you know, beef or, or milk or, you know, the, the meat that we eat, chickens, pork. Um, and all of our cereal grains and the corn syrups and cornstarch and all of those things, just it's unbelievable that so many products come from those small corn kernels. So um, just teaching kids where their food comes from um, is, has been enjoyable and kids really have been quite amazed. So Cole, what is your favorite thing about corn? I like the flavor and the taste. And the flavor and the taste. Way to go. Sweet corn, that's your favorite? Popcorn. Oh, popcorn. popcorn. Ooh, do you um, use like a certain flavoring or just butter? Um, I'm not really a condiments guy. He's not really a condiments guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good to know. You, I'm glad to know to learn something about you today. That's amazing. <laughs> what is your goal, Sherry, whenever you are setting out to develop your programming for the year. Is there a goal that you're trying to hit in terms of how many times you're in classrooms and what classrooms you get to? I have reached out to every school in our county and I am in 14 of the 18 districts or schools. There are more schools than that, but um, so I see about 700 students every month. And um, so it's, that's, that's my goal is to, you know, ideally to get into every school and so I'm happy to be in 14 schools and or districts and that's 38 classrooms total that I'm in. Um, so my goal is, as we've talked about, is to just educate students and teachers about the role of agriculture and how close how close we are to it and how dependent we are on it. But then I also want to expose kids to career options. So let's say they are interested in agriculture, but they aren't from a family farm. There are still lots of ways that they can work in the field of agriculture. So like with my corn lesson this month, we talked about how technology is a huge aspect in the family farm. My cousin Paula drives our combine because she's the, the family member that knows how to run all that technology and, and keep, you know, the GPS and the satellite systems all hooked up and um, so we talked about technology as a, an option for kids that might want to pursue a career in agriculture, but they don't live on a family farm. And then we also talked about, you know, how mechanics are so important in keeping a farm running. Um, and I mentioned one morning before I went into the classroom, there was a mechanic in our backyard that had to come out early in the morning to work on the combine so that we could return to harvest. So there are lots of career fields in the uh, field of agriculture that kids can consider as they develop their skill set moving on in school. 
Let's go to our very last question. And Cole, it's for you. Do you think corn has superpowers? And if so, what are they? I do, and I think that corn makes you smarter and make your mm -hmm. brain think better than it usually does. What is worse than finding a bug in your corn? What? Finding only half a bug. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you ate the first half. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being a part of our conversation today on Agriculture in the Classroom. It's been really fun to get to know you for a few minutes here. All right, thank you so much. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.